Biyahe kasama si DJ Lala a Arangkada na. May love, oras na rin, 10.49 on the clock. Oras na para pagbigyan natin ang ating biyahe sender of the night. This one was sent to us over at our Facebook page, DJ Lala Banderas. Ito na po ang biyahe ng buhay ni Jem. Hi, DJ Lala. I'm Jem. Single mother and I have a lesbian partner. Cool off kami for three months. Tapos last time, she texted me na ayaw niya na. Kasi may pinagdadaanan daw siya at pakiramdam ko, may mabigat siyang problema. I want to stay. I want to understand her. Pero ayaw niyang mag-open up sa akin. Gusto ko na mag-start ng buhay ko, pero at the same time, nagwo-wordy pa din ako sa kanya. Ano po ba ang kailangan kong gawin para lang ma-convince siya naging, na maging honest sa akin? By the way, LDR po kami. Salamat ni Jay Lala and God bless. My love, honesty or openness from someone is not something that you can demand. Para yung tiwala eh. It's not something that you can ask of someone. It has to be given to you willingly. Sa mga ganitong pagkakataon na nag-decide siya na mag-cool off muna, humiwalay muna sa'yo, Huwag ka muna idamay sa kung ano yung pinagdadaanan niya. If you really care for this person, if you really love this person, I think it is more than enough for her to know that you are there for her. Sometimes that's all we can do to a person. It may not be much sa mata natin. It may not be significant. Kasi gusto pa natin gumawa ng something more for that person eh. Pero that person is not allowing us to do that. Sa mata lang natin siya kulang. Pero sa mata ng taong yun, your willingness to be there. You being there is more than enough for her. As for openness, transparency her letting you in it's not something na ikaw yung makapagde-decide hindi yan yun something na ikaw ang may say unfortunately you have to go in you have to embrace yung pinagdadaanan niya once na i-allow ka niya once na i-let in ka niya. Once na naging okay siya, napapasukin ka ng gusto sa buhay niya. It's not something that you can decide on your own. Unfortunately, it's something that she has to give permission to before it happens. Naintindihan mo ko, my love? So kahit pa gusto nating tulungan yung isang tao, kung, kung ayaw naman niya tayong papasukin, kung hindi pa siya ready para i-open yung sarili niya, kung hindi pa siya handa to let anyone in to whatever mess she is in, then uh, there's nothing more we can do for those people than just to let them know na andyan lang tayo para sa kanila. Let's wait for them to be ready. Let's wait until they are okay to have us sa pinagdadaanan nila. Naintindihan mo ako, my love? Now, if you want to move on, if you want to start your life, if you want to stop waiting for her to be okay, no one will ever blame you. Walang maninisi sa'yo na you were never there for her no may pinagdadaanan siya kasi you were 
pero hindi talaga natin pwedeng ipilit yung gusto natin kasi feeling natin that will make us feel better. Kasi even when malaman natin yun and there's nothing we can do about it, us being dragged dun sa situation na yun will only make it harder for that person. Lalong-lalo na kung talagang that person cares for you, that person loves you, it will pain her more knowing that you were dragged sa problema ng buhay niya. That you are now feeling what you are feeling because of her. Maybe that was the smartest thing to do for her. Kasi hindi niya kakayaning mag-focus sa pinagdadaanan niya. Kung kailangan niyang intindihin yung mararamdaman mo on the side. Just try to look at it this way. She loves you enough to set you free. Then subject you to pain. Kasi kung siya nga nahihirapan na, kung siya napapagod na, kung siya nagugulumihanan na, adding you to the equation will make her feel more awful sa pinagdadaanan niya. Imaginein mo na lang na sa ikli ng panahon na nagsama kayong dalawa. You guys were happy. You guys were able to build a Pandora's box of happy memory. Now, somewhere along the road, if magtagpo uli yung landas nyo, kapag okay na siya, okay ka pa. Baka that time pwede nyo tapusin yung naudlot ninyong story. But for now, I would I would want you to respect her decision. It was brave of her to let go of something so precious like you just because she needs to prioritize something in her life. It was brave. It was smart. It was for you. So my love, Inalist niya na yung burden ng kasalanan sa iyo. Pinalaya ka niya. So you can be happier. Kasi alam niyang you deserve a life more than what she can give. A situation better than where she is right now. So if you really care for her, if you really cared for everything she does, then you would care enough to honor yung sacrifice na ginawa niya para sa'yo and just move on with your life. Focus on your child and be happier. I think that's what she wants for you. Claro? Claro?